Okay, on to the final area. This is, well, actually, kind of the final area. Oh, hooray! Ugh. There's also a scene um, in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix that I obviously can't show off because I'm not playing the Kingdom the Final Mix version. Could show it off by splicing in the footage, but I'd rather not do that. Um, in Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, there's a scene where after Riku loses his body, you see him in the world in the realm of darkness, and he hears a voice calling out to him, telling you know. If you are like, you know, how do I know I can trust you? Do you know if you trust your heart, then you'll be able to find the way. Uh, the voice speaking to him at that point is, in fact, King Mickey again. Okay. This is the final, uh, this is the mid-boss, pretty much, right here. This is... Oh, wait, no, it isn't. Never mind. Uh, this is the uh, world's prison, I believe. Um, come on! Stop blocking my attacks! You guys are so annoying. These things are so annoying to fight. And you get to fight them in 358 Days Over 2, which is freaking awesome. I loved seeing them return. What I'd like to point out here is this symbol, it is the heartless symbol, however, um, as was stated in the Ansem reports, the heartless, em the heart, the emblem heartless, which were the artificially created heartless that Ansem himself created, they were brandished with a, an insignia. This insignia right here, this heartless symbol, is um, the symbol of Hollow Bastion Castle, or the, the, uh, Rather, the castle itself is called Hollow Bastion. So, um, let's open this. And we will read uh, what is in this computer. Ones born of the heart and darkness, devoid of hearts, ravage all worlds and bring desolation. Seize all hearts and, cons and consummate the great heart. All hearts to be one. One heart to encompass all. Realize the destiny, the realm of kingdom hearts, the great darkness sealed within the great heart. Um, I want to say that's progeny or progeny, progeny of darkness? Really hard to tell, because English is actually one of the hardest languages in the, in the world. Whatever. Come back to the eternal darkness. For the heart of light shall unseal the path. Seven hearts, one keyhole, one key to the door. The door of darkness, tied by two keys. The door of darkness to seal the light. None shall pass but shadows, returning to the darkness. Ones born of the heart and darkness, hunger for every heart until the dark door opens. And so the heartless attack. That message is extremely important to the plot. It may not seem like it because the plot kind of like ties itself out together, but it kind of answers a few things. As far as, you know, a few people might be concerned about or um, whatnot. Why this, why this didn't happen, why it did happen, why it played out like this, and... Oh. Well, now there's a, there's a hole here. Um, we can go back and save our game, but... You know, I want to go through. Hell! Disney fanatics like me may remember this guy from Fantasia. Um, 
I don't remember his name. I'm pretty sure, though, in Fantasia, he's pretty much supposed to be Satan. So, we're fighting Satan. At least if it's not Satan, then it's a demon. Um, what you should be doing at first is obviously if you if Donald is not casting arrow on you, then you should be casting arrow on yourself. Um, just make sure you do that. Oh God! Also, having a an, an accessory that reduces fire damage is always good. Pretty much just wail on this guy. Um, if you've got arrow and an accessory that reduces fire damage, you're pretty much good. When he does a certain movement, there's a certain movement where he just... hes It's pretty much his ultimate attack, right here. Um, this will tear Donald and Goofy apart. Um, but I'm overleveled for this world as it is. So... I'm not too worried about... Yeah. Uh, funny tip, funny thing is that I actually had a lot of trouble fighting this guy. Oh wow, he's in the middle of his fire attack when he kill him. the shared ability, Super Glide. Now what we gotta do is, um, let's equip that ability. Um, I also want to customize sword so that his, uh, it's arrow back in. The dog is fine, um, I mean, Kiraga. Be sure that your health is always at high, dur at, uh, as always, um, high during that, uh, fight. Whoa, what happened? Um, we needed to go down to the bottom of the volcano. We didn't need to go through another door. There we go. We go down the bottom, and then we need to go through the white portal over here. Looks like there's a trinity mark up there. Although it isn't. It isn't, but um, oh wait, we need to keep doing these. We need to keep going through the portal. Here we go. This is what we need to do. We'll end up in a huge area. Rare, we're gonna have to fight another behemoth. Oh god! How dare you! Hey bro, what you doing? Ah! Come at me, bro! Yeah! Hey, where's my experience? Oh, my, my experience, my health orbs and whatnot. Now, we're pretty much fighting these guys until that Heartless symbol goes away. I pretty much covered what I wanted to with the story, at least, to, at least as far as I'm remembering. Um, as far as the series is concerned, other than what I've talked about already, 
Um, and as far as Nomura has said, uh, everything concerning Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, every mystery concerning Kingdom Hearts 1, anything that is left that was left unanswered has been answered by now. Um, everything's pretty much been covered. Um, and of course, you know, whatever's left in the series up to this point will be answered in Kingdom Hearts 3D and Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3, of course, is not in production right now. Kingdom Hearts 3D still is. Uh, it's slated for a spring 2012 release. Um, in Japan, which means we'll probably get it another six months after. To the oh god, ugh. It takes them about six months to localize. Translate and localize the game. So, uh, that's probably when we'll see the game. We'll probably see it about in fall of 2012. <laughs> oh god. Ugh. Of course you're gonna do that attack to waste time. Well, Goofy, you're gonna get hit. And there's nothing I can do about it. Oh well. Oh my goodness! We're on the last bit of the uh, door, so it's finally crumbling away. Stop moving! Done yet? No. This part of the game, um, what I was going to say about uh, the last boss fight that we just did, um, I actually had a lot of trouble with this world um, in my first playthrough. It's because um, I went, the first time I went through this world, I went through it on, obviously I was playing on beginner or easy or whatever it was. Um, I... Um, God. Uh, I went through this world at starting at level 35. Not kidding. Or it was like level 33 or 35. I came out at the very end of this world at level 45. 26 deaths later, or somewhere around that number. Huge amount of deaths, huge amount of fail, and it was just not good. Let's save right here. Because we are at... the final area of the game. So let's open this and get ourselves a Mega Elixir. The final chest. Pretty much. Now what we need to do is pretty much um, what we want to do with our items. Um, we just want to have elixirs. Um, so uh, I'm just going to keep taking elixirs out. Uh, Donald will pretty much have, um, uh, I want Goofy to have elixirs. Donald will have one elixir, and then he'll have mega potions, I guess. We're at the final battle, pretty much. We really don't need these, so that's why I'm kind of like going all out with the stock. Uh, we're also going to use whatever we've got left of uh, 
the um, stat boosting items. Ooh, three AP. What can I use it on? I've only got finishing moves left, um, so I can't really use it. Uh, Donald, what do you got? He's got all of his abilities. Thing. All right, Goofy, you got some abilities. What do you? Uh, MP gift and cheer. I guess we can use cheer in it. I don't really see what the point is. Um, cheer will. We I haven't actually used summons a whole lot in this game, which kind of sucks. Um, I, I'll probably show off a summon exhibition because um, they're actually kind of cool. But um, let's save the game one more time now that we have all of our stuff prepared. And in the next episode, as you can see, my playtime is at. 47 hours. That's my first uh that's my first game right there. So yeah, you can see I've been spending a lot more time on this. Um but yeah, with my final playtime before the end of the world, the final boss. My playtime is at 47 hours. I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on Ansem in the finale of Kingdom Hearts. See you guys then. Oh wait, I was supposed to say the outro. Later, key bearers!